So it's Sunday, it's time for my mental health check-in. This will be week 35. Um, I've come a long way in 35 weeks. I've gone through the separation and some issues with that came along with that with some legal stuff. And um, I've come really far with my recovery. Um, I've come really far emotionally. Um, and I'm in a really good place. Uh, it took me a while to get here, but I'm in a really good place. So, some highlights for the week. I met someone um, through OkCupid. Okay so, not like one of the sex apps. It was a dating, an app, a literal dating app. And um, he and I have been talking quite a bit. Um, we've already had two dates this week. So, that is going well. Um, he's very smart, he's very nice, he's very supportive, um, he's very sweet, he's very cute, he's, he's a really good guy. And I'm getting to, I'm enjoying getting to know him, and he knows my rules, the rules that I have in place for me, and, um, he's very respectful of those even when I don't want to be. Um, he's very respectful of those. And um, so we're just gonna play it by ear, take it slow, get to know each other. That's what dating is supposed to be about. Um, got to spend some time with my son this week. He uh, came over on Friday. We spent Friday night and most of Saturday together. Uh, really enjoyed that. We didn't do a whole lot. We had Subway, of course. Um, did another week of quarantine karaoke. That really makes me happy. I enjoy doing that. Um, I wish more people would play along, but I enjoy doing it. It makes me happy. And I've got some friends who have been really awesome and very supportive. And they've had me over to swim in their pool just to hang out and just chill. And that's been nice to have an outlet to go to, some social distance swimming, um, just to hang out of their pool. It's very, it's, they're really, it's just, they're a very sweet couple and they've got some great friends. Um, and then I had another friend invite me over for the pool um, last night. So I took the new guy, I don't know what to call him yet, we're dating, but the new guy to the pool, uh, we had fun. Um, and I went, and I've just been, just been hanging out. Um, I've still been doing a lot of my step work for SAA, getting ready for my first step, which is a big deal. Um, that will be probably in, within the next two weeks. Um, so I'm a little scared of that, honestly. It's a lot of, it's a lot of information to regurgitate to a group. And I'm very happy with my group. Um, I find a lot of support for my group. But I'm still, there are some things in my past that the shame is hard to let go of. And talking about those things is not something I'm excited about. It's, that's about as blunt as I can get. But they're there and they're part of my story and they are part of the first step. Uh, my sponsor told me that there's nothing I can say that people in that room would not understand and possibly have been there and done the same thing. So he said, there's nothing that you can say that will shock anyone. There's nothing that you can say that will upset anyone. He said, everyone's been there. So as hard as it is for, put all me, put, for me to put all this together, it's something that I have to work on and I have to present it. So... Um, this upcoming week, I've got a meeting with both my therapist and my new psychiatrist. Bing, boom, one day, and one's Tuesday, one's Wednesday. Um, I'm excited with my second appointment with my psychiatrist. She's gone over all of my paperwork now, and she may have some recommendations for changing medi medication, which I'm all for. Um, so we'll see. She may not be ready to do that yet, and if not, that's cool. Um, she doesn't seem to want to rely heavily on medication. So 
I'm okay with that. As long as, as long as there's something in place, then I'm okay with that. Um, beyond that, my week has been kind of boring. Um, my embroidery business has been really busy and work has been steady. There's been some projects that have come in that have kept me busy at work. Um, things are opening up again. I'm still not ready to really go out and do like eat at a restaurant or go get my hair cut or stuff. I'm not ready for that yet. And I really have concerns with the spikes we're going to see after all the protesting. Um, just because I know a lot of people wore masks, but a lot of people didn't. And there were, there was no social distancing, especially when the police decided to incite riots and violence and attack peaceful protest and cause people to scatter. In my opinion. Um, I'm, I'm triggered a lot with this new guy and it will be very hard for me to, and I'm being honest, it'll be very hard for me to stay in my rules and I'm worried about that. Um, they're there. I put those rules there for a reason. I have to follow them. And uh, the new guy is very supportive about that. And I'm glad that he is. Because, I mean, there's a strong connection there already. And it's... It's a good one. But... So that's my hill to climb this week. Um, but I like him. So we'll see where this goes.